All right, minus 20 right now. Beautiful morning, no wind, cool, crisp. We're shooting for four or five deer. So let's see if we can make some magic happen. Muley does with the white tail box. Two white tail box. One small muley buck. Taking out both of those. Look at them. Look at them. Come here. Oh, yeah, he's pretty decent. Oh, yeah. Good. There's one on the ridge right there. There's one on the ridge right there. There's some what? No? That's a buck. You know you see a big mule deer when he's not that wide, but nice big wide forks. Yeah. All right. Just wait. Just wait. She walked. The one in her bed. Nice hit. Oh. 
least you so got the a, first hit was it was I don't know what it was a good hit because he went he went mm. down holy the, up there. the first hit was a good hit it went down well James senior has a, a white tail buck another one under his belt sniped it off of the top just uh, it came out from down below and uh, he took it out right by the fence line ran a little bit it was a uh, was a little I don't know what happened but you don't know what happened. all I know is we got deer down two deer down well there's my doe down in the bottom right there no track job required dad had a nice shot on his dropped it and then it suddenly got back up and went for a little run so we had to put a couple more shots but tough little buck so november 4th around 4 30 i was able to harvest this beautiful doe and get some more meat for the freezer I'm just grateful that she allowed me to take her life and I'm very blessed that uh, I could harvest uh, a nice healthy doe. I've been seeing lots of numbers of deer today and finally a little bit of hard work hiking around sure paid off this afternoon. So dad also got a buck down. We're gonna go check out his uh, blood trail and yeah, we'll get a couple pictures side by side Get everything wrapped up, so stay tuned. So I was up there on that hillside there, and that buck was standing right here. From that point. He was standing right here and he fell right here. He's got blood right here. We got blood right here. And here we are. Here we got him. Oh, 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 Nice. Free point. Congratulations. It's not a bad deer. Nice. We got a nice three point. Sweet. Good job. Here's James with his doe. It's a little better than, uh, than what that other one was for sure. Wow, that's nice. We got some pictures. Wow, just for the freezer? Yeah. So this is with the, uh, the old rifle. The rifle just turned 100 years old. So the old uh, 303 did it again. 150 grain. Got two deer down now. Super pumped. White tail buck, white tail doe. Getting her done within the last couple hours of our hunting time, so stay tuned. We got a few more surprises up our sleeve. There's a cow, a calf, and a bull moose way off in the back. Well, it happened so quick, just folded a buck right now and there's the no trespassing we're just coming up to him a beautiful white tail buck for November 4th it's about minus 14 out right now and we have snow falling and I'm just going to show you something that fence behind us we're about uh, 30 yards away. That fence is a no trespassing, no hunting land. That's where that animal was heading to, and he picked them off running. 
and he shot him with his 300. Yes. That's a one-shot kill of beautiful animals. I'm very sorry we didn't get them on footage. Everything happened so fast. We were cresting the top of a hill in a coulee that we usually walk to all the time. And James was ready. That might have been one of the three that we've seen, but I'm not sure. Hard work, and we work very hard for our animals. We're in the very far west corner of, of the property. There you go. You can do it. It's a couple hundred yards. Just anyone. Don't shoot yet. Tell me which one you're gonna go for. Which one? That one all by itself in the middle? That one's a doe. Be just yeah. Okay. Too much bouncing. I'm not doing it. Alright. I'm not doing it.